it's hard it's hard because like they don't tell you the first time I made bread, they don't tell you to put the water in first. Oh. <laughs> and that's what you're supposed to do, so I put the flour in first and I, then I didn't put the water in. Um and that's the wrong way to do it. You have to put the water in first because it start it's a multiplying water. <laughs> yeah. If the water's in there first and then the flour. I did it wrong and like the bread came out really wonky. That's we still so have funny. it, but like we never use it. I just haven't gotten it out lately. Yeah. Life gets away from you. Yeah. I have um made bread from scratch quite a few times and we really like it and we super like when I make um it's Dutch oven bread, but I make it with Asiago cheese and fresh basil. Like focaccia? I don't know what focaccia is. Uh, do you remember the bread that Cam, I mean, that Morgan brought over for Thanksgiving? Uh, nope, not like that. Okay. It's like a giant loaf. Gotcha. Like a sourdough is... loaf? Yeah. Kind of. I need a sourdough starter. It's so good. Oh, I need to do a sourdough starter too. Dude, we should just like, we should just one day, I'll come over to your house, I'll bring some yeast, and we should make a starter together. That sounds great. Does anyone want a flapjack? No. Steven, speaking of food. I love sourdough. Yeah, Anthony you for doesn't the understand that I like sourdough a lot, especially on uh, on all my sandwiches. It just mm. tastes so much better. It seriously does, and it's better for you. Mm -hmm. This is the nice bacteria that's in sourdough bread starters. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really good for your gut volume. I make a really good banana bread because I put a full mm. stick of like this cream cheese stuff in the middle of the banana bread. What? Yeah, you know like cream that cheese filling? That sounds good. The cream cheese filling mm -hmm. that's in like cheesecake, it's just in the middle of the banana bread. Oh, someone just rebooted. Wow, that sounds amazing. Of trial and error. Now, like my bones are smooth as butter. Like you wouldn't even know that it wasn't like store bought. You think that like putting Ooh. stuff in in certain orders would like not make a difference, but it makes a huge difference. Putting it stuff totally in, in order actually kind of. Who does wants make the difference. running gun? <gasps> Shasha does. What do you? Where are you? I'm right here. Oh, you're. Yeah, you have to make good food if you're not going out and spending all your money on good food. Mm -hmm. Well, I found a lot of copycat recipes. Like, one thing that Anthony and I like to get at Del Taco all the time are the chicken rollers, and I made mm. almost exactly the buffalo chicken rollers. Like, oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, and I was like super excited that I like got it so good. Mm, wow. So yeah, I have found a like couple of copycats. Me. Yeah. Copycat and if you can make it at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anthony's really good at copycatting sauces. Like, when I was pregnant with Sterling, I wanted to go to Arby's all the time just to get the Bronco Berry sauce. And he's like, I'm not taking to Arby's every single day. Screw that. So he made copycat Brockleberry sauce, and it tasted exactly like I that. used two different recipes, and I mixed the two together, and I was like... I was like, they both didn't taste right, and then I put them to get the two together, and I was like... Oh, this is exactly what Arby's has. No way, that's amazing. But I learned how to fry food when I worked at McDonald's. I didn't learn how to fry food from, like, my parents or... <coughs> Oh, yeah. My first day at McDonald's, they put me on french fries. Oh, really? Yeah. 
<coughs> as soon as the french fries look like this, or as soon as the timer goes off, you gotta open, you gotta get the french fries out, and everything. So I can just kinda eyeball, eyeball it a little. That's awesome. I don't know, like, what's your most favorite food at a restaurant that you can't replicate at home? Sushi is hard Black to replicate. From Panda Express. Panda Express? Like, yeah. uh, do you like the fried rice there, or do you like the, uh... The black pepper chicken. Oh, that's... I've never heard of chili vinegar. I know Ooh. chili oil. What, you know chili vinegar? Yeah, uh, in the Philippines, they take the little red chilies, the Thai chilies, and they uh -huh. just leave them in vinegar. Should we just do that with those? They could. Those that, it's, we have? that stuff's pretty tasty. Okay, that's probably why you're having problems, because I'm looking at this coffee cat recipe, and chili vinegar is one of the... <clears throat> I have recipe. no idea what chili vinegar is. Yeah, I don't either. The Anthony, I guess, I, knows. I, I, let me see what it is. You can just buy it. Yeah, but like, if we have Thai, thai chilies already, and I don't really like putting them in too many different things. Because they're so strong. They're like red chili pepper flakes, but like, on crack. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. I feel like the black pepper chicken isn't that spicy. No, but like it's cooked out. Like the vinegar and the chili probably like cancel each other out a little bit and just have the flavoring. And okay. when it's cooked, it probably just tastes like a mild spice at the back of your throat. Got it. Oh yeah, it looks like you just take some type of like chili and then you just let it chill in vinegar. Mm -hmm. mm. I've never heard of well, so chill, chili vinegar is what you put on your um, what's that egg from the Philippines? You put it on your bolo, the oh, the buried really? egg. Yeah. The fertilized buried egg. Yep. I'll talk about food all day. That's all I like talking about. Well, Steven's already up against the brownie. I heard the brownie. <laughs> the bounty, sorry. Yeah, we oh, no. have been talking about a lot of food, so I was <clears> glad <throat> to hear brownie. <laughs> brownie. Anthony Aww. hates it when I make brownies because I put extra mayonnaise in it. Steven, here you go. And the mayonnaise makes the brownies thicker. Oh, yeah. More yum. like moist. And Anthony hates it, because he's like, The brownies are too heavy, I can't eat them. Blah blah blah. Put mayo? Yeah, you put mayonnaise <laughs> in it. Ugh. Oh, it's- you don't taste the mayonnaise. You don't taste it. Just it just makes them thick and heavy. Too heavy. Is it big, Anthony? It's like you put sour cream. You put- you put sour cream in brownies, and it does the same thing. Ugh. Oh. Heck oh, you yeah. guys, you guys say, huh, but it's good. Hey, we put sour cream in the cookies to make the sway cookies, and then sour cream also in cakes to make it more moist, too. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical about mayo. That sounds so gross. It sounds You'll have gross, to make it for me. I will make it for you. I'll make it for you, and then we'll have it with some ice cream, and you'll be like, wow, I'm never going to make brownies the same again. <laughs> You know what mayo is, right? It's just oil. It's egg oil and then a little bit of lemon juice, I think. Yeah. But you you have to emulsify so it. Do any of you guys like hot ice cream? Um. If you're looking for something I super do. sweet, yeah. It's it. good. <clears throat> like. Ah. Uh. Um, no. 